Good morning Pisces. <clears throat> Welcome to your reading. This is for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see what's going on with my Piscean friends. Hope all is well with you and things are improving. And let's hope for humanity that 2022 is a lot better year. more shuffle here we go tower moment yeah I'm getting that there's going to be some unexpected changes in your life the tower is a bit like the death card the transformation card you can't avoid it all you can do is ride it out this is a general reading the energies ebb to and fro you know it can't possibly resonate with all of you, but whatever this tower means for you, you know, it, it's a good thing in the long run. Because it means the situation you're in was built on very, very rocky ground. And, you know, for the new to come in, the better to come in, the old has to give way. And this tower represents a breakdown in something that wasn't working for you. But don't despair because in the long run, it will be for the greater good. You've got the Knight of Cups here. Somebody's going to reveal their feelings. And in some cases, this could be you. The energy's been building up, pent up emotions. And I feel a lot of you are going to say your piece, especially to this person. There's something here you need to get off your chest and you'll do it rather suddenly and rather abruptly. But this Knight of Cups is also a proposal of some kind. It's an offer of some kind which will lead you on to better things. Now, this could be an offer or somebody communicating or even banging on the door. Quite surprisingly, from your past. And I'm kind of getting that it's totally unexpected. Four of Swords. You know, things have been quiet of late. You've been resting. You're tired. And even in this one-to-one -one situation that you're in on the love front, you know, you're very, very tired. I'm kind of getting there's very little or no communication at all. In the past, there was a lot of conflict, a lot of things said. And I'm getting either you walked away or this person walked away. I'm kind of getting in with this conflict. There was a win at all costs. Hmm. Strength card. Leo energy. Fire energy. A lot of passion. You're realising now that head-on arguments don't work. <clears throat> Picking up with this strength card, <clears throat> you're very, very determined. You're very, very conscious of your heart's desire and you're going to follow that, whatever. It's sheer willpower, this strength card. And there's somebody here amongst you that can be very, very persuasive when they want to be. The Hermit. Virgo energy now. Lots of different energies. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to spend time alone, or you feel you need to spend time alone to kind of dust yourself off and prepare for the next phase in your life. There's something here you need to adapt to. There is a loss, but as I say, for the greater good, I feel there's something new coming in. You're beginning to realise your true destiny. And what I'm getting at the moment is a lot of you, especially in a work situation, you're realising that where you are is not working, literally, on a spiritual or emotional 
sense and for you it's time to move on because you're realizing there's something better out there you're beginning to stand in your own power you just need time on your own to figure things out see this snake here it represents change and as you grow spiritually and emotionally and you start to realize your true destiny You know, you're getting stronger. You are getting stronger. You're shedding emotional and spiritual skins to allow for expansion. You're getting more stable. It's kind of like metaphorically you're putting your feet back on the ground. Two fours here are eight. And in the major arcana, guess what number eight is? Bingo. See them numerals at the bottom? V and three ones, eight. Yep, you've got it. Recuperation and getting your strength back. And for some of you, you could even be recovering from a sudden illness. But here, you'll... What it's doing is forcing you to think about where you are and where you want to be, perhaps in 2022. Either way, you're going in a brand new direction. You are at a fork in the road. Now, on the work front, yes. You're thinking things out. On the love front, you're also thinking things out. You know, this tower is, <clears throat> can be a bit dramatic, but as I say, don't fear it because it's always for the greater good. The star card, there you are. Look, the universe has your best interest at heart. Healing, new hope, new opportunities for you. It's Aquarius energy. There's lots of, there's four major arcana here. You know, you've got eight cards here and there's nine cards now and there's four of them major arcana. There is some big changes coming in for you. All for the better. Queen of Cups. Opening up again. Coming back into your power. Coming back to your old self. And, yeah. New love. New love. You know, with this Wheel of Fortune... You could very well serendipitously meet somebody new. And for some of you, because this is a general reading, there's a straight choice between a Virgo and Leo energy. But I feel either way will lead, will open up new feelings for you it's kind of like the destination's the same you know new romance and but the routes are just different it's kind of like you take the high road I'll take the low road but the destination and you know I'll be in Scotland before you it's a bit like that energy, metaphorically. But with this Queen of Cups, some of you could even be thinking about a lot of paternal instincts and, you know, your dream of becoming pregnant, becoming true. I'm going to leave it there. Big changes for you, for the better. Thank you very much for watching.